My name is Scott with Sean Photography and today I'm going to go over the Canon EOS utility software and how I use it to remotely shoot in studio. So first off, I'm shooting in a cheetah stand LED shooting booth. It's a great little product if you're looking for something that for product photography or eBay, this might be something you want to get and it's on the deal day for only $98.95. Let's plug our USB cable into our computer and to our camera, or into our camera and then our computer. So let's plug it in. Our software will automatically start up. Go into preferences. Now this here is our main screen right here. So this is set to go to the main screen. If you do not want to see that, and you just want to go into remote shooting, you can just click this button and every time this pops up it'll go into this but I go in the main screen just so I can set my preferences right off the bat we'll go to our destination folder and how it's gonna be labeled let's go over here to what our first image is gonna be set for so I'm gonna start with zero If it's set in your camera where your image is auto-rotate and you don't want them to auto-rotate when it comes into the computer, then you click this. But I like I have mine set up, so I want portrait mode to be portrait mode, landscape mode to be landscape mode. So I leave that unchecked. Let's go to link software. Here you can see I have it set up to bridge, but by default it's actually set up to digital photo professional. Most of the time I will leave this to none, but we have it set up in bridge, so we'll just leave it in bridge. We'll hit OK, and let's start remote shooting. So let's click this button here. Here you can see that it gives you everything that's on your camera. So we can go here, we can determine what images we want to shoot at. Raw and large JPEG is what I have mine set to. We can go over here. We can have it to transfer only to the computer or the computer and the camera card. And I have just the JPEGs that come over to the computer. And if you uncheck this, it'll send the raw and the JPEG to the computer. Or you can have it just go to the memory card. So I'll leave that set like that. Let's take our and go into live view and just to show that it's on live view so I can keep my fingers in front of the camera you can see I have face and eye detect on and you can see how quick that was for the Canon EOS R to capture onto an eye here you can see I have my test shooting dummy and posing figure here inside the shooting tent so let's take a shot if the white balance is not right you can come in here and click this little eyedropper and then hit OK and select or you can just go to custom and that's set to custom and then I can go over here and actually go back to 52 which is what it is take our shot and here is our image we can shut this one out and let's increase the size of that and it's a little on the shadow side so let me throw in a fill light real quick let's take another shot All right, so let's go into bridge. All right, and then we'll hit the space bar. Zoom in. And that's pretty sharp for a JPEG. Straight in for a camera view. Go out here, let's go into the one that I didn't have a fill light on. Let's do a space bar. 
and you see there's it's kind of dead in the eyes there there's no catch light no nothing but it's still sharp as a tack go back to the other one and just nice crisp and sharp and well lit again this is what I use in studio for tethering when I'm tethering to a laptop. Might as well go over the wireless setup version two. So let's go over here and enable Wi-Fi. And once it's connected, the software will start up and we'll do everything basically like we did before. So let me take a shot. All right, let me adjust the dummy. Transfer this to bridge. So let's go to bridge mode and take a shot. As you can see, it is actually importing all the images right over here to Bridge. It's giving you all the settings right down here and taking our shot. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and hopefully, this information was helpful to you. And thank you for watching.